Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And today I wanna to do something a little different on my quick business video tip for you. I'm actually gonna do a screen share and I'm gonna show you a little, a little behind the scenes on how to do some of the things that I do every day and I teach other clients to do as well on their websites and online as well. And keep in mind, I'm actually gonna be doing a uh, training on this. So make sure you're getting my email newsletters and you're on the list, go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com because soon I'm gonna be launching a whole new series of back-end training products that's gonna teach you the how-to, how to do this and how to do that and how to do this and how to do that, a lot of technical stuff, um, things I wanna dumb it down and make it really easy for those of you who are not tech savvy whatsoever. Trust me, you can do this. I don't care how creative or left or right brain you are but there's some things that you that are critical. If you know how to do, it can save you so much time and money, and you you know if you have an idea in the shower like I do every morning and you wanna send out an email to your list but you don't know how to create a new page on your website or you don't know how to create a blog post or you don't know how to you know download a video and put it on a web page or in order to send that in the email to the people and you know all these little things can trip you up and I know my clients tell me all the time, it's like I didn't do this because I didn't know how to do this one little thing. Right, so I'm going to be sharing a whole series of things um, on these one little things, these little nitty gritty things that are going to hold you up from being more successful and making more money. So I just want to give you a little tidbit of what that is. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see my thing. So I'm going to do a screen share here, and don't worry, my desktop's a little messy. So um, let's bear with me here. All right. So first I wanna talk about your websites. Okay, so here's my website currently, right? And then let me make it bigger. It's my new website, uh, jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And um, I've already logged in. So the key to my website is I want you to get to the opt-in box, just like any of you. You might need to get someone to sign up for your email newsletter. Also, I have a video that plays um, right on the beginning too, and it gives you the three steps uh, three keys to jumpstarting your business. Um, so those are some things that are really important. If you don't know how to do video and opt-in boxes like this, for example, this is just one way to include an opt-in box on your web page, and it's just an image. It's actually an image that my designer created, and then it just links. It's a button that actually opens up to a different page that is actually the coded opt-in box. So the coded opt-in box is on this page, and, and this is more of a landing page software. Now, some of you know lead pages. I don't use lead pages because I think it's too expensive. Um, I prefer other means, and I'll have to share those with you. Uh, they're on my resources page here on the website. Uh, if you want, but if I click over here, so this is an opt-in page. This is an opt-in page for those of you who don't know and don't understand, where do I put my free gift? A lot of times people wonder like, where do I put the free thing? Well, it's just an image. This is just an image that was actually created. You can create these images. You can get them designed by your designer for sure. But I love a resource called um, My eCover Maker. My eCover Maker, is where you can actually go in and create those little images by yourself. So I've created a couple different images for a client and also myself. And uh, all you have to do is just say, okay, what do I want my image to look like? And you pick it, right? And then you create the, um, the background that you want. So I want a red background or whatever. So you can go create your image over on my eCover maker dot com I love that and so you can either do it yourself you can also go to Fiverr so I'm all about the most affordable way to grow your business um, you can get a graphic designer to do it and a lot of my images I did pay graphic designers to do um, originally um, my resource for that is killer covers killercovers.com uh, and so then you go to get instant access and it's supposed to take you to a thank you page So this particular page is like an upsell page. This is called an upsell page So rather than just giving you the free checklist and report I talk about hey, thanks for signing up your biz kits on its way to your inbox now You should see it in the next 15 minutes. So while the free thing is coming to their inbox I take them I take you guys to a landing page where you can say, yes, sign me up for the $47 thing. It's, you know, it's 25% the cost. So it's 75% off 
basically for this particular product. And you'll see I have testimonials and things like this. This is, is again, is a landing page software, but you can do this on your WordPress website as well. So here's back to the WordPress website, right? And so there's lots of things you can do on, an, on the new format of the new WordPress websites these days. There are some older format, older WordPress um, sites, and you know some of my clients who uh, are on, say, an older uh, WordPress format is this one here. You know, it's a little bit older of an outdated, but it's still it still totally works, and it still gets you the free report. This is a different kind of opt-in box, right? It still has all the functionality you need. Um, and we designed that site. There's all kinds of different websites. Um, this is another client, Lucas, and he has the video in the opt-in box again. And then a little bit more down here to take you to the next level, but it's pretty clean and, uh, and stuff like that. And so um, there's opt-in boxes that go across the top. So he has a little uh, free gift that he has across the top as well, right? Now, um, then you get on to other pages. Let me just think, I have um, a client who uh, has an opt-in box on her event page because she has events every day. And in fact, she just did one recently. I think this one just came out. But if you go to her main event page on Feed Your Soul Unlimited, uh, so this one, she has a special opt-in box just for the free recording now of her end emotional eating teleclass that happened today. So she just changed this page because earlier today it said it was happening at noon. Um, but you can still get the recording. So her opt-in box takes you to a page where now the recording is linked. Okay. So it's, and this is done through one shopping cart. So this is the shopping cart that I recommend my affiliate link is jumpstartshoppingcart.com and you can check out how to get a shopping cart on your site and this houses your database it also houses your um it, it makes it so you can have different opt-in paid opt-in boxes and things like that now if you go to kim's home home page she has a different opt-in box here this is a different list so this one goes straight to her newsletter list whereas the last opt-in box actually went to her her call list so this is specifically for the people who wanted to get the recording of her self-esteem impacts weight gain uh, free recording okay so that's for this particular list so you have multiple opt-ins for multiple pages if you're going to have a uh, way where you can people can have a free consult with you you know i have a form on my um askcat.biz page it's my strategy session. It's right under my about where it says start here. You can go look at this and it tells people what to expect on this call and then has a form for them to fill out with some questions. And yeah, it's, it's got a few questions and a few things you want to um, have people ask. But the reason you do this and you don't just take people to your scheduler, I could take someone straight to my scheduler. Uh, but I don't want people to be able to just go and schedule a call with me. I want them to at least give me their contact information, answer a few questions, and be a little bit more serious about uh, what they're doing in their business and wanting some help before they get taken to my scheduler. But I can always take them from this page, and as soon as they take this, um, fill in this form, I can take them to a page that sends them uh, gives them a link to go to my scheduler where they could actually schedule a call and then all of that can happen without me even being there or talking to them this is the beauty of forms you guys so again on your contact page you want to have a contact page this is a different form so this still all goes into my shopping cart on my back end um, but it's different lists so I have a strategy session sign up form I have a contact page sign up form I have um, uh, free uh, the biz kit jumpstart your biz kit sign up um, list I have various other free free gifts and stuff that uh, I've been sharing with you all over the time but my jumpstart your biz kit right and then I have a list for who buys the marketing basics for consistent cash flow webinar right so these are just some things and reasons why you want to go um, and do some of this stuff on your website. Now how to, I want to get into the how to, but it's really hard in this kind of an introductory email or video, 
but I want to show you in the behind the scenes and the, the, um, so if I wanted to edit, I actually do want to edit my event page, for example. So for example, this spacing is all messed up here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but this is supposed to be underneath this and they're all supposed to be squished. So this is more of a, a newer theme. So I'm going in to edit the back of this page right now. This is my uh, live event page. So the back end, I'm on a pro styler theme. You might be on a DV theme and they look somewhat like this. And I know it looks a little like crazy, like how am I supposed to know what to change? This is where you have to name your sections pretty well so you know what you wanna change. I just happen to recognize these little images in here. So I know that this is the place I wanna change uh, those images and what I was doing here. So let's see. So what I wanna do is I wanna get to the other side of this and I want you to be below this like that and I want you to be down here and let's see if that works it may or may not work because this page is being a little wonky you always want to save your work as you're going and you have to save it in two places if you're on this theme but you can look at it and see okay did it work oh it changed, but now I need to remove this gap, right? So it probably says left adjust over here and right adjust over here. So I need to fix that. Um, but I'm going to fix that later. Uh, I don't want to waste a lot of your time. So another thing you can do, so I'm in the edit page. I want to go to another page and create. So I'm going to create a new page really quick. So this is on my website. Then it's thinking, sorry, it's thinking. Hopefully this is helpful for you, but you can new page test, right? And you can actually be in the classic editor. So this actually looks like a Word doc. So you would put your heading here, sub heading here, and text bullets, right? would go here and then your heading, you always want to make sure it's in a big bold heading. The subheading can be a little bit smaller and then text is in the paragraph format. So, but typically even 12 point font these days is a little too small for the main website. So say I wanted to do this and I just want to preview what that looks like. It's not going to look that exciting because we haven't put any design around this page at all whatsoever. Um, but you can see that the text is right here. So I, that's what I added. So if you had, um, so it's really easy to add a page is what I'm trying to get at. Now I don't want this comment box on any pages usually, and that's really easy to add, take off, you know. Um, hide post header, oh, I created a post. So this is actually a blog post setup. So I'm on the post right now and not the pages. That's why it looks funny. Anywho, uh, uh, I'm gonna trash this. These are kinds of things that if you don't know how to do little things on your website, you're gonna be so slowed down, seriously. So like, let me just, um, one of my clients just sent me an email and she wants me to show her how to do, uh, how to add a video to her web page. So for example, let me take one of these web pages. So strategy session web page. Um, on the strategy session, I'm gonna show you that page again. So it is right here. And if I scroll down, there's a whole bunch of empty space here. And I really hate empty space when there's other stuff on the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a video down there. So I'm gonna show you how to add a video really quick. All right, so this is the form. This is the text next to the form. I'm gonna insert an element and I'm gonna insert the video. And then I'm gonna go see which video I want to pull. I want it to be a testimonial video uh, and it's gonna be Darla's. So I wanna go to Darla's video. I'm actually gonna go to the page where her video is playing. I'm gonna click the share button and then I'm gonna go back to my page because I'm not sure. 
So if I'm going to do a YouTube video, I know I'm going really fast, but this is the beauty of video tutorials. You can watch them over and over and over again. So I'm going to put the video link right here. So they don't want the embed code. They want the YouTube link. So all I need to do is copy this link right here that it says under share under the Darla's video. I go back here and I insert that link here and I save the page. Actually, let's see. I want to make sure it's centered. So let's make sure it's centered. Autoplay. Do I want to autoplay this? No, because I'm going to put multiple videos on here. Well, I can't get it centered apparently. So I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm going to update the page because I'm sure it's going to look fine. So when you update the page without just saving it, it actually changes the live page, just so you know. So um, we're going to save it in both places. And then I want to view the page. I want to see what it did. So hopefully it stuck the video right there. So now her testimonial will play as people are filling out the strategy session form, right? And I think I might add, you know, a few videos here. Why not, right? There's empty space. So don't leave a space like this when you can fill them up with testimonials. I mean, they can go to your testimonial page and they can find your testimonials. But if you have empty columns like that, um, you know, you can find most of my testimonials on the testimonial page, but it is fun to see them all over, sprinkled all over the website. So, all right, I'm going to stop sharing, and uh, hopefully this gives you a, a, I know this was like a lot of information in a very short amount of time. The point is, though, I don't usually talk this fast. When I'm walking through step by step, I do one thing at a time, okay? Now, I was just kind of showing you a variety of things that if you don't know how to do or what's going on with your website or your back end or how to... Uh, change a few things and to really impact what you're doing in your marketing, then you want to learn these things. Okay. So I want you to make sure that you watch out for my, uh, my new trainings that I'm going to be launching. And you can either, uh, hopefully when this video goes live in the description of the video on YouTube, we'll have the complete information on where to sign up. Or if you're on Facebook or somewhere on my blog, it'll tell you where to sign up for here for this class. I'm just kind of recording this ahead of time because I wanted to show a little bit behind the the scenes of things that I do and this is what I do with clients but I walk them through step by step one thing at a time so they understand it understand the why of what they're doing and they grasp the concept and the process which is the strategy or the system and then we can talk about okay click here add this copy paste right all the technical nitty-gritty stuff that you need to do to make it happen now certainly you can delegate a lot of this stuff you don't have to learn a lot of it but I tell you, there's a few key things that I teach people only because it's, you know, it might take two days for you to delegate this and get it done where you can do it in 10 seconds or a minute. It's ridiculous. So how easy some of this is when you're shown how. So I want to help you show you how to do some of this stuff that slows you down from making more money in your business. So this is Katrina Sawa. Make sure you sign up at jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Get on the email list and you'll get all the details when this program launches. And I look forward to talking with you soon. Have a great day.